At the University of Braunschweig, Vanessa Schulz and Kathleen Preisler evaluate samples and map dead animals that have been reported. They want to know how the animals become infected. Because infection is lethal. The killer, B-cell, also called salamander eater. The chytrid fungus infects their skin, causing an agonizing death. Why is it so dangerous to European salamanders? That is because it basically never co-evolved with our European salamander. So, so that means it, it co-evolved in Asia, so it's used to Asian salamanders. But when it now arrived in our European fire salamanders, they basically don't know how to cope with it. So basically that means that the, the fungus proliferates without any limitations in the salamander, and the salamander has no defenses at all against the chytrid fungus. The fungus, which was presumably introduced through animal or plant trade, was first discovered here at Ghent University in 2013. In the meantime, it has been found in Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany and Spain at around 80 locations. One hotspot, Germany. Is the popular amphibian facing extinction? We probably won't lose all of the fire salamanders, and that's mainly because it's a very widespread species with strong populations across its range. Now, that doesn't mean that all fire salamanders are safe. Eh? There are some subspecies with small remnant populations and uh, once uh, Bissal would have entered in these populations, it may lead to local extinction events. With 14 subspecies, the fire salamander is widespread across Europe. Two of them encounter one another in Germany and also mix. Biologist Kathleen Preisler is studying this genetic diversity. Is this the key to its salvation? Might resistance to the fungus be found in the genes? How worthy are local variants of protection? If we only look at the appearance, whether an animal has a lot of yellow or is orange, we cannot say whether this is influenced by the environment or whether the animals have special genetic adaptations to their environment or perhaps also certain adaptations in their immune system, which could help us with B-cell. All this still needs further research. She compiles models to establish which populations are particularly valuable for conservation breeding basic research for a future salamander arc.